What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. We are solo here once again, but that's totally cool because we have some awesome GTR mods to install today. As if the GTR wasn't already an amazing track car, we're making it even better for today. In today's video, we are gonna be installing some ultra racing suspension parts. First up, we have we have the ultra racing rear sway bar, and then we will be installing the ultra racing rear strut tower bar. Also, when we finish up, we gotta figure out a cool place to put this big sign. Huge thank you to Ultra Racing for helping me get these parts for the Z, for the GTR. Still thinking about the Z over there. But huge thank you to them for helping me get these parts for the GTR. Now before all of you say, oh my gosh, Justin, you don't, you don't even go to the track. You're not gonna even track this car. Shut it. Yes, I am actually. As you guys know, I do work closely with Yokohama and after my fitness competition, June 29th, we actually have a lot of track days planned with the BRZ and with the GTR because as you guys know, I do have their amazing sticky Yokohama AO52s on this car. So I'm gonna get actual track time with a professional to properly learn how to track this car. So in preparation for doing that, I wanted to have the best of the best on the GTR. I've used ultra racing on the BRZ on my Type R and now on the GTR. So let's go ahead and get started with the rear sway bar here. It should be a oh, don't fall. It should be a fairly simple install. I say that, but I'm looking at these bolts. These things are crusty. Like I'm talking 1989 crusty. Pending whether or not these bolts break on me, break. This should be a pretty easy install. So I've already gathered everything that I'm gonna need. I have my gun here, along with a 12 and a 14. Let's go ahead and start taking the stock one off and comparing it with the new sway bar. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start with the end link nut right here. So you'll have to use a 12 up top to keep it steady. Good to go. We're gonna do the same to the other side and then the end links should be loose. Oh, yep. Okay, other side is loose now too. Now all we have to do is go ahead and do both sides where the rubber mount is right here. These are two 14s, two right there, two right here. Shouldn't be too bad. These guys are rusty. So I don't believe I'm gonna be able to get the sway bar out without taking the exhaust tip off, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take off the tip and this thing should just slide right out. Finally got the stock sway bar off. Actually it wasn't too bad. These bolts are just a little bit sketchy, but that's what I expected. Big success getting out these stock sway bar. Here are the differences between the two. I need to actually get a scale for the shop so I can start weighing things, but this one is much, much heavier than the stock one. A lot thicker, if you guys can see. I can't really tell on camera, but the ultra racing is a lot thicker and weighs a ton more. What I'm currently doing right now is swapping over the end links. Now I have noticed I am probably gonna have to go ahead and get replacement end links because these are really, really old. Definitely coming soon replacement end links, but I have to use what I have right now. So let's go ahead and do this side. We can start putting this thing back in. Okay, end links are installed in the new sway bar. Let's go ahead and put the new sway bar on the GTR. One thing I did forget was Ultra Racing does give you new rubber mounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some grease on these, the outside of these. Hopefully no squeaking. One, nice and greased up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on the sway bar. minutes later and we have successfully got the sway bar in. I went ahead and hand tightened everything as you guys can see. The two 14s right here, the 12 on top of the end link and same for the other side. So now all I have to do is use the gun, tighten everything up and we are good to go. Whew. 
Ooh, just a little bit difficult by yourself, but everything has been installed and we successfully have the brand new ultra racing sway bar on the GTR. I'm super excited to do a drive test with this, but before we do that, we also have to install the rear strut tower bar, which is gonna be super, super easy in the back. I was a little bit nervous about this with all the bolts being so old, but we got it done and it came out perfect. Taking a quick intermission here to get some get some food in. I found this Chipotle mustard stuff. It is a game changer. I can't have many sauces during my prep, but I can have this and it is unreal. So for those of you who do watch the fitness videos or for those of you who don't watch the fitness videos, I am competing in summer shredding June 29th. So I have been prepping, dieting for this fitness competition and it has been absolutely crazy. If you haven't seen the fitness videos, you should check them out because it is something new that I'm doing on my channel and I really, really enjoy it. And I want to continue to do it even after my prep and even after my fitness competition. And I do, I am gonna do an update video on like what's next after the competition, but um, yeah, if you haven't seen the fitness videos, at least try them, try them, check them out. If you are curious, we're taking a small break and I am having eight ounces of chicken as well as 80 grams of broccoli with this bomb chipotle mustard. Definitely try it out. <laughs> Okay, well, I was looking at how to install the rear strut tower bar, but it actually seems like they sent me the, it'll focus, focus, the GTST two-door version, and I actually have the GTR, and I don't think that this guy is going to fit. I'm mocking it up where the strut tower is currently. Definitely is a little bit too short. And just to double check myself to make sure that I'm not just screwing myself on this, it does look like there is a difference between the R32 GTR four wheel drive versus the GTST two wheel drive one that they sent me. Two wheel drive, if you guys can see that. So, unfortunately, no rear strut tower bar today, but good news is we officially finished up the rear sway bar so we can actually take this thing on a nice little test drive. So, I guess we can finally add this to the collection of stock parts in the corner. Good to go. I'm not expecting to feel too much, especially because I'm not pushing the car. I will notice a huge difference on the track as well as when I take this thing to the canyons again. If you guys remember when Chris, or you probably know him as Crispy Media, did the whole documentary on my open house, we took this car to a local canyon and it was amazing. I'm definitely gonna have to redo that again with the new sway bar to kind of, to kind of feel it out. But I'm gonna go test right now to see if I can notice anything different on the street as well as listen for like any clanking or knocking noise from the back. So far, so good. No noises just yet. We're gonna go over a speed bump and then we'll be on the main road where I can get on it just a little bit. Speed bump, any noises? Nope, no noises. Okay, we are heading on the main road right now. Let's see if we can notice anything in the corners. does feel stiffer, especially with just these small turns. We're gonna hit this circle in the cul-de-sac pretty hard. All right. Oh yeah. Woo! It also helps that I have like the grippiest, stickiest tires possible from Yokohama, but the Ultra Racing Sway Bar does feel good. 
Like I said, it's not a huge difference on the street, but I am very, very excited to take this thing on the track and on the canyon because canyon driving is definitely one of the most fun, especially when you go with your buddies and stuff. So that has to be planned very, very soon. I need my daily water intake and I forgot my big jug at home, so I need to get another water. Don't forget to drink your water, guys. It makes you feel better. Perfect. Now, let's head back to the shop. A little special delivery. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw it first. We have made it back to the shop, and I think I give you guys a little, a little sneak peek of something that we got going on here. May or may not be for the WRX, and it may or may not be from AccuAir. I don't know. It would be pretty cool. Let me pause this. We are ending today, waiting out traffic, watching some office, eating my fifth meal of the day, which is from shrimp and broccoli. Just hanging out for a little while. Traffic always gets so bad by the time I'm finished working on the car, so I just hang out. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. I'm super happy we finished the ultra racing install. I've had that for a while now, and I definitely, I've been meaning to get it on, but there's just so many other things that need to get done, especially the Z. I wanna put all projects on hold, especially you guys have been asking for or the turbo build on the GTR. I don't want to start anything until we have the Z with the motor out off to paint. So that is my number one priority right now. I'm just waiting for some extra hands to help me get the motor out of the Z. Once that's done, we can start working on newer projects and you guys just saw the sneak peek for the WRX too. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We are so, so close to 400,000 and I wanna do something special for 400,000 subscribers. So help me get there. Let's do it. Tell your friends, tell everybody, hit that subscribe button and let's get to 400K. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.